shalom shalom juice gang family welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be sharing with you all another what i eat in a day video i really enjoy making these videos for you all because one i love to cook but i also want to help give you all some ideas on how you can do healthy keto i am going to be adding into the mix some keto vor recipes for those of you all who may be interested in keto vor i myself am testing it out myself and i'm really liking it and so far so good but I am more into healthy keto because I love vegetables, I love berries, I love nuts, and I love to have fat bombs every now and again. So yeah, I have a lot of things in store for you all. Now you all know I like to start my mornings off with my Sole water and my Bulletproof tea. I already had that so I won't be showing you all that. I'm just going to jump right into what I'm going to be eating. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. So now I am whipping up my first meal of the day and I have some beef bacon in the pan cooking up. And I really do like this beef bacon because I did not add any oil at all to the pan. This is all from the beef bacon. And so far all I made was two pieces. So that is all that leftover goody oils that I got just from two pieces of bacon. So with my bacon I will be having some quail eggs and some pasture-raised eggs, some avocado, and I will be cooking my eggs in this grass-fed Kerrygold butter. I like to go with the unsalted because I like to be in control of the salt that goes into my food, but if they don't have it at the grocery store, I'll get the salted and just deal with it, but this is the one I really like to go for. So, the quail eggs, let me uh, show y'all what they look like real quick. And no, they're not pasture-raised, but again, I'm just doing the best that I can and I was really excited that they had these at my local grocery store. So yeah, look at that. I got quail eggs. I'm only going to add two to my pasture-raised eggs. And they're really, really good. I did have them while they were by, their, by themselves without my regular eggs. And um, they're good. They just taste like eggs. So this is what I'm going to be having for breakfast. And I'm going to allow for this to cook. And I'll show you all what it looks like when it's all done looking good like this bacon over here and all on a plate so here is everything all done i'm about to enjoy this while the kiddos are in their room playing but as you can see i have my two pasture raised eggs my two quail eggs one of the yolks bust while they were in the pan but that's okay and then i have here my four pieces of beef bacon and then I have over here my avocado and all I put on top was pepper and sriracha just to give it a nice little kicky heat. So everything is smelling really, really good. I'm hungry, so I am going to enjoy this beautiful meal. So now I am about to enjoy this beautiful fruit bowl and it is loaded with walnuts, blackberries, raspberries, hemp seeds, some cacao nibs, and some bee pollen. And I sprinkled some cinnamon on there as well because I like cinnamon in my fruit bowls. And then I topped it off with some coconut yogurt and a mint leaf. Now, this is the coconut yogurt that I like to use. And this is so addictive. If you've never had it, you are missing out. And it even has probiotics in it and I'm a big fan of probiotics so this is so delicious I'm telling you once you try it you're not going to stop so I'm going to enjoy this and sit back and relax and tend to the kiddos so for dinner tonight I am making some country style beef ribs and I really like to go with this because it's so easy for the kids to eat it because there's no bone in it. And I just chopped up some garlic cloves. I have four and you can see them over in the corner. And then I chopped up some onions and seasoned everything really, really well. And then added a little bit of spring water. And then I'm just going to cover it with aluminum foil and place it in the oven on 400 until they are fork tender. And then when they're done, I am just going to add on my low carb keto friendly barbecue sauce. 
and that's basically how I'm going to be cooking these ribs and I'm not too sure yet what sides I'm going to have with this but I will show you everything when it's all done so I'm going to get this into the oven so that way it'll be ready on time for dinner look at what I found I found a new brand of kombucha I don't know how long this brand has been out but this is my first time seeing it and this one is moringa and lavender and this one is ginger so I cannot wait to try these I'm really curious about how they're going to taste I really like ginger and I like juicing it in my drinks so yeah and I like adding ginger to my tea so I'm a big fan of ginger now look at the sugar content on this for the total carbohydrates it's five grams and the total sugars is four grams now when i was buying my other kombuchas they used to be low in sugar where they were like 10 grams some were eight some were five now they're like 20 grams 26 so now that i've been doing like hardcore strict healthy keto just trying to do everything the right way I'm like, what the heck? So they must have changed the ingredients on them. So that's why I've been on the hunt for something else. And that's how I came across these. Now let's see what the sugar content on this one is. Total carbohydrate, six grams. Total sugar is five grams. This is perfectly good for keto. Now I know some people are very strict where they won't have any sugar at all because it can uh, trigger sugar cravings or it can um, stop you from losing weight it just depends how everyone reacts to sugar and for me these don't bother me I like having kombucha but again I have to make sure that they are low in sugar you can count this into your carb intake for the day if you're one of those people that like to count carbs I don't and I wouldn't even drink this in one sitting I would just drink half of this and that's usually how I do it and it helps me to stretch them longer I'm really good with half. All I need is a little taste, something just to fizz up the back of my throat because I love the taste of kombucha. And then I'm basically good with that. So, yeah, I cannot wait to try these. And these are only two flavors that they had um, at the time. Hopefully, when I go back, they may have some other flavors. If anyone has ever tried this brand before, drop your comments down below and let me know. And also if they have any other flavors because again this was all that they had so I just wanted to bring this to your attention for anyone who may be looking for you know kombucha that is not so high in sugar if you were having issues how I'm having now that uh, the ones that I was getting from Walmart are extremely high in sugar now so that's that for that guys so here is my dinner I made this beautiful salad it's loaded with tomatoes blue cheese I even have some blue cheese crumbles peppers onions celery olives I even topped it off with my sprouted seeds I mean this is really delicious and I even have some avocado all cut up all on top I am going to enjoy this beautiful salad and then I have my ribs these ribs turned out perfect and I decided not to put any sauce on top but just look at these ribs I decided to put the sauce on the side and I added some of the drippings from the ribs in there and the sauce tastes amazing so yeah just look at these ribs they're so juicy and tender so I cannot wait to dig in and enjoy my dinner and yeah everything turned out perfect so just look at this salad oh my goodness I love salad this is going to taste so good you guys I wish you can taste it so yeah I have my moringa and lavender kombucha drink that I'm going to be drinking with this meal and I'm only going to drink half so yeah time for me to get ready and dig in all right so that is everything that I have for today and I really enjoyed everything that I made but before I end this video I want to talk to you all about this kombucha the moringa and lavender flavor this is so good and as you can see I only drank half of it and that's usually how I like to do my kombucha but this is so good and if you have never tried it please go out and try it because I'm like addicted it gives you that nice sweet flavor that you need but it's just not too much because again it only has like four grams of sugar I mean this is perfect and it's organic and it's budget friendly so 
I'm going to be racking up on these. I can't wait to try the ginger flavor and I hope it's just as good as this kind because I love ginger. But that's what I wanted to bring to your attention if you're a big kombucha lover like me. So that is it for this video and again if you all like seeing videos like this then please give this video a thumbs up because it helps support my channel and it also lets me know that you like the direction that I'm going with this channel and if you want to be a part of the juice gang family hit that subscribe button and thank you all for watching and i will see you all in my next video i love you all shalom